Hey folks, on this installment of the lesson series, we are going to tackle Robert Johnson's Walking Blues. Um, I've been working with this tune a lot this week with my students, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, so let's just jump in. Um, I'm in Spanish or G tuning, open G, which is D, G, D, G, B, D. And this is the first string. This is the sixth string. All right, let's jump into it. Um, here's the intro. That's the whole intro. All right, now he does a really interesting thing in this intro, which, you know, Robert Johnson's very staccato in his playing. So on this first part, where he's going on the first and second string at the 12th fret, so he's doing triplets, triplet, 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 okay? And on each beat, he's sliding in. One, two, three, four. All right? Now, if you'll notice, it's very staccato. It's not. It's. Okay. So the way I produce that sound is I use these two fingers to pluck the first and second string. And I do it like it's almost like I'm on a trampoline. And those are my legs. Bop, 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 and I'm coming back down and muting the strings after I've sounded them. See my right hand? So, I would encourage you as an exercise, and it's it can be boring, but it's also kind of fun to sit around and try to just play that way. And the way I maintain control is I take my thumb pick and just kind of hook it onto the third string, onto the G string, and then I can play. All right, so the first three beats are triplets going into the 12th fret on the first and second string. One, two, three. And then the fourth beat, he does it, boom. And then he goes on the third string, and for the rest of the triplet, he goes, all right, up, up, three, four. All right, it goes 11, 12 on the third string. Then to start the next measure, he hit, excuse me, 12 on the fourth string, and then slides it down. So it goes, and plays that open third string. Then, all right. So what he's doing, he's doing the 11, 12 on the third, and then hitting the 12 on the fourth string, sliding down, hitting the third string open. Then he's taking, or I take my second and third fingers. I put my second finger on the sixth string at the third fret, my third finger on the fourth string at the third fret, and we're gonna play the third string open. Right? Now, I have a weird thing about me where I vary the triplet in there. He goes, bum, 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 bum. All right, so he's going with that second finger on the third fret on the sixth string, third finger on the third fret on the fourth string. He's going three, two, one, and then open on those two strings. So. Then he takes his slide and comes to about the third fret on the um, sixth, fifth string, excuse me, and goes, slides up, and he catches the fourth string, plays the sixth string open, and then a strum. And the way I do that, I take my first finger, and then these two fingers. I don't know why I do it that way. You can do it open-handed. You can do it with the pick. Okay, and it's just basically all the strings. So, the whole intro. All right, there's the intro. Now let's talk about the verses. He does a couple of different things. So, on the first and the second verse, and the third verse, he does the, the turnaround with this slide. So let me just show you how the verses work in their entirety. Here's the first verse.
first verse. And basically, that's all the verses during the whole song, um, except for the turnaround verses. Okay. Now, all he's doing is taking the slide, fifth string, sliding up to four, and then coming off and playing the fifth and the fourth string together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the basic thing. It's a work song. All right, and then during when he goes up to C, he goes just on the fifth string up to the fifth fret. Then back to the first figure. Then seventh fret. All this on the fifth string. And remember, Robert Johnson, when he's playing these verses, he has a very bouncy kind of sound to him. Um, so, all right. Now, he's also got another little cool thing that... When you listen to the song, that kind of appears more and more as he goes through. So during the first verse, he really doesn't bring out that fifth fret on the first string hit. Uh, until he's through the verse a little bit. All right, so all he's doing is the first figure, the slide up to the fourth fret, and then the fifth and fourth strings open, and then he comes in here. And he keeps that rhythm going in the back with his thumb. Now, the way I do that is to hit down with my thumb on the rhythm part and then take my middle finger and hook the first string coming back up. See, I'm doing that. I'm not doing it all at once. that part. Now he does that for the first three verses. Then on the fourth verse, he busts into his chordal middle. All right. So he goes. bar kind of slides into the fifth fret and he bars the top five strings excuse me <laughs> we all make mistakes right i think i just did a post about that earlier this week yeah if you make a mistake don't sit and punish yourself just move on through it all right so all that is he's coming up to the fifth fret he's barring he's taking his third finger, or at least I'm taking my third finger. Okay, I've never seen Robert Johnson on film doing this. I'm taking my third finger, hitting the eighth, and then the seventh, and pulling off to the fifth on the top string, on the first string. All the while keeping that up to the seventh fret and he does the same thing except this time he's pulling off he's going 10 9 back to 7 pull off and then fifth eight seven five <laughs> all right and he also does this cool little thing he goes All he's doing there is taking and at that eighth fret, bending it up a little bit with his finger, and then playing five, 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 one, two, one on the first and second string. All right.
So let me play that entire verse form for you. the whole song except for one other variation that he does on that verse all right he will pop on the c and on the d instead of playing the chords all right so what he does there it goes He's not using the slide for this because it's kind of hard to do, but at least I don't. I don't think he did. I take my first finger, put it on the fifth fret on the fifth string, and then just take this finger because it's hard to do with my thumb because I have the thumb pick. I take my first finger and just pop it. Pretend I'm playing slap bass or something and hooking it. All right. Then actually what he does when he goes into the turnaround, he actually just plays the chordal part. To end the song, he basically does an intro again. All right, and all that is, you go up to the top and you play some variation of the intro. Um, that time I just did this. And all that is, is the first and second string. One, two, three, one, two, sliding into the 12th fret. Slide. And going down to the third, taking the first, the second string, excuse me, sliding into 12 and hitting the third string on the 12th and sliding down. And then on the third string, third fret, open, and then third, open first string. And then end on the fifth fret on the first string. All right, guys, that's the whole song. I hope you enjoy it and have a great weekend.